So now let's understand how we can send data through the roads, right? How we can send objects. So let's start from the beginning, right? We are in the login page at this moment. Let's go to the ROM page. Okay, now let's go to our ROM page. And here, for example, let's understand this. We are passing the, okay, let's open the ROM module, perfect. We are passing, for example, we are accessing this here, the ROM module, right? and the user okay what is this user this user called the user page then for example we are passing user and we are calling the name what meaning this when we pass this using this way to dots and name in this case we are telling to modular hey modular i'm sending parameters and you can be able to get these parameters using the args.params right then we access this map you in the position in the key the name we get the value the value from here so let's let's try this let's see what what's happened okay we get here let's see in the page okay not this page this one here we are passing we are we are recovering this from the user page let's go to the row module see when we call the args.params and the name, right, we are calling the, the key name, we are recovering the parameter that we have sent in here. And we call the page. When we go to the page, we are calling, uh, sending for to this, to this place, this name, right? Then we just need to recover inside the page. Widget.name. Then how we can see here, the parameter Coringa, right? But... For example, we can pass anything here, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Let's try again. And this is. But how we can pass objects using this way? We have the args.data, right? We can send one and it's simple. We just, it's the same way using the, the navigator, right? Then we just call the arguments and pass this. I just create a user module, right? This is a simple user module just to this example. And we can only pass the push name, it, arguments, passing the user, the entire user module. And inside my, my user page, I'm expecting to receive this user module, right? So when I click here and let's show in the page and allow this. Okay, this object is coming null. Let's remove it. And let's remove it. Let's try again. And this is object and widget dot user module. I'm it's like the same, right? It's the same of the only pass a parameter. And we are just in this this time we are passing the complete object. And for example, we can pass different parameters to here like age like id and we can recover we can create we we can create another string for example age okay let's put this this age okay and call this in this place let's okay now we can receive age null because our null right and let's pass this okay it's the age let's pass the age but okay let's pass a uh, random number no oh, it's better okay now oh yeah i forget something like the id because we have the id at the end now let's pass again Oh yes, I for this is this is important to remember. Every time that we change anything here, we need to refresh, right? Then let's refresh, and now should work. Yes, work it without any problem. The day that I pass it here, and I can pass the ID too. But oh, I for oh, I yes, I change 
the name. Oh, yes, I forgot one thing in the row module. It's here. Perfect. Let's args.params and call the age. And here we can call the name and should work. Oh, yes. One time I forget. Okay. Yes, it's working. We can use the ID here too, for example, without any problem. Refresh. And it's here the ID, right? So this part, it's very easy and very simple. And is this.